Hey everyone, this is John with the Active Towns Initiative and it is Sunday, October 11th, 2021. And today is the final day of the Austin City Limits Music Festival down at Zilker Park here in Austin, Texas. And so I'm gonna roll on down. I'm on my way to the uh, grocery store. And so I thought I'd uh, get a little bit of footage of folks uh, riding their bikes and scooters and whatnot uh, to the event. So let's go uh, swing this around and take a look. And over here, Metro Bike has a valet drop off for their bikes here. Ready to go, guys? It's all the way down there around the corner. That's one of the ways that they encourage people to not drive to the event. So, making the valet drop off for the Metro Bikes, the bike share bike system here, formerly known as the Austin B Cycle Program. And you can see that there's ample room for bikes to be parked. And where they encourage folks to drop off the scooters. So the scooters really encourage them to get them to the right place. So this is one of, re one of the reasons you see everybody heading this direction. We'll do one more pass of the scooter drop-off area from behind the tents. If you remember in past years, it's a little less chaotic than back then. Anyways, I think you all get the idea. It's a wonderful way to get to the festival site is to ride a bike, ride a scooter, catch a ride on it with a pedicab. Uh, no better way to get to Zilker Park for ACL. Well, this is John signing off, wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. Hi, this is John with the Active Towns Initiative. Today is Tuesday, October 16th, 2018. I have a short micro mobility video here for you. I'm calling Getting to the Austin City Limits Music Festival in style and comfort. 
And speaking of style, there's probably no better way to get to the music festival than by pedicab. The city of Austin is no stranger to hosting large events. Their traffic demand management model for the festival encourages people to get to the event by walking, biking, even scootering. Without a doubt, one of the easiest, most comfortable ways of getting to and from the event is riding your own bike. And there's always plenty of free and convenient bicycle parking available with racks so that you can lock up. Then a few years ago, BikeShare came along through Austin B-Cycle, which is still one of the most convenient ways of getting to and from the event. But of course, now we have a few new kits on the block in Dockless Bike Share and the e-scooters. Here's a couple ready to part on their jumps. Here's the jump staging area where the bikes will be redistributed out into the city and also Bio Ride. But without a doubt, the most extraordinary thing that we've seen this year was the popularity of the e-scooters in getting to the venue site. So the city provided an area where the vendors could accumulate their e-scooters and then redeploy them out into the city. If this year is any indication, it's rather clear that the scooter revolution has arrived and this form of micro-mobility is here to stay. Thank you so much for watching this Active Town's Culture of Activity production. This is John signing off and wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.